uh, this will be the 14th um, block in the 16-hour uh, level one. So I'm going to click into a third icon here. We're going to go down to the to the 14th block, and and so there's a number of different ways we could build that geometry. And um, I, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a half circle, and then build these ears on the side, and then put the holes in. Okay, so. Uh, um, do the four B L O C K O one four. I'll start out with uh, the front plane, and I'm just going to basically draw a circle. Um, let's make it about a 12 inch diameter circle. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to model another circle, and then I'm going to draw a line on the bottom so that I can trim the entire piece of geometry off using using a dynamically trimmed section entities tool. Okay. And uh, so there's my diameter. I'm going to move it around and my radius. Well, personally I would rather control one outer diameter or an inner diameter depending on what's significant to this design. And in this case I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, make this uh, one inch there. That way I could drive this to, uh, to, to 7 and it's going to stay at, at 1 inch here or, or, or back to 12 or 13 there and, uh, and this maintains uh, 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 the same number here. Okay, so let's check out of that and uh, create, create the, the block. Let's also notice that I have a datum running down the center so I probably want to make this a symmetrical um, piece of geometry that way I can uh, build my, my ear and have something to uh, center about. So let's, let's draw the ear now. Um, I'll go ahead and, and, and sketch a sketch. I'll put my ear on. Let's remove this leg and draw an arc. Arc, strike an arc off there. And click. Let's go ahead and align the center of the arc to my datum plane and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, align to the edge of the part but when I go ahead and build the protrusion we're going to see a little bit of a problem and I've got some severance basically it's so I need to be careful and uh, so in this case what I want to do is uh, redef let's make this one inch control G and then let's redefine this the sketch that creates the ear so that it's 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 extended into the meat of the geometry so I'm gonna go ahead and and, and lose basically I want to break the constraint here and pull this piece of geometry in so it's relative to the back edge but when it goes up it's one inch it it, it, uh, it doesn't peel across the geometry here so notice the jaggedies too this this uh, the geometry as it as it builds a polygon to display to the screen, the polygon tessellation is low. So let's go ahead and at this point take some time to adjust some of the polygon settings that, that show tessellation. Okay, so I've got uh, view, model display, mo model display here, and I come up here to my shade option, and I'm going to crank up the shade quality a little bit and hit apply, but notice my tessellation looks a little bit better but 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 uh, there's a there's another setting here to go with I'm gonna pick small surfaces line edge quality I'll set to very high and hit apply and you'll notice now um, I get I get more of an arc as I go through uh, a, a lot more polygons being generated in that area so now I can see that uh, I have geometry I'm looking for at the end now let's uh, let's mirror that geometry now I'm going to click on the feature and look for the mirror option and I'm going to pick the uh, um, the mirror and hit middle button okay so that that mirrored it let's do a test to see if that mirror is dependent for example what if I were to come into this geometry and and take it back to the sketch edit definition um, in this case I can't take that back to the sketch I have to go back to the to the to the sketch because these guys are joined so I'm going to edit definition on the sketch 
and take it back to the sketch and 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 complicate the sketch a little bit by adding a circle to to the sketch now is that mirrored or not you come back over and you see that it is so there's a dependency going on a lot of times I would suggest not mirroring in some cases but in this case it's a, it's a simple mirror okay so uh, let's um, let's let's put the chamfer on here so a chamfer is basically uh, a little bit like a radius so I'm gonna pick the edge and then I'm gonna reach for the chamfer tool so uh, there's the radius tool and then there's the chamfer edge chamfer tool so I picked the chamfer and then it basically added material to build the chamfer and uh, we'll do the same thing for the other side uh, chamfer tool and it, it adjusts with the drips just like uh, just like a radius if you edit definition on the chamfer you can tug and pull on these uh, on these drips to make it bigger and smaller it goes to an increment level and the very last thing we have to do is put the uh, bleeder hole at the top and uh, um, we, we can sketch our hole here I'm just gonna um, create go straight to making a cut and then um, placement sketch a circle and hit the middle button and then I'll make this go through all and that completes my geometry for my for my uh, bracket here so one, one thing we might do to change this piece of geometry is uh, is change this to a 15 degree radius and hit control G for regeneration and you'll see that my my uh, my my ear went with the 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 outer circumference because it was dimensioned to the outer edge so I'm maintaining a unique parent-child relationship there let's grow the I double clicked on the ear and I'm looking for a diameter button and there's not I, I basically managed the overall width of this geometry with a radius so let's go back now and change our mind how we dimension the schema of the of the dimension of, of the ear and uh, basically this 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 is going to go what this dimension is going to go away when I dimension the width dimension here using the dimension key so now I can uh, I should be able to grow this piece of geometry and notice my whole center um, is concentric to the circle let's check out of that middle click zoom out and you'll see that I have maintained symmetry that completes this uh, port number 14.